Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer Diamond, and I live a whole food, plant-exclusive, sofas-free, gluten-free lifestyle for health and well-being. And uh, today I thought I'd share with you what I eat in a day. So it's a weekend day for us right now and um, I started to get hungry. I kind of eat when I'm hungry versus eat when the time says it's meal time. And um, I thought, you know, people have been asking me, so maybe I should share what I eat in a day. And today I don't really have a plan. I do have some leftovers and some things that I want to use up, but you know, this is just how my day is going to go. So I started to already put together a salad before I decided to do this. And um, so I'll just tell you, I, I took some uh, greens out of our garden and I cut up some kale. I have spinach. There was a little bit of dill. Um, there was a... I think a Swiss chard and definitely a small handful of arugula. And I had some of this other stuff already mixed up. And so what's in here is zucchini, red bell pepper, uh, purple cabbage. There's also um, some Napa cabbage, which is this one, just kind of chopped up really finely and kind of just any odds and ends that I had left over. And so I chopped what I had from the garden and mixed it in with what I already had left over in the fridge. And then I put half of it in here. And then I added to that, I added some of these cute little tomatoes that I cut in half. And this is a little bit of leftover um, sauerkraut. And this sauerkraut is beets and fennel. And um, it's uh, something that we get locally every once in a while. So I'm just using up the end of that. And then I had a little bit of um, chickpeas, garbanzo beans. And so I threw them in the air fryer. I put nothing on them, just drained and threw them in there for, I think I did 10 minutes and tossed them on my salad. Whoop, there they are. Little crunch, give me a little crunch. It's nice if I season them, but I didn't. I just was feeling like I'm hungry, and let's do this. So I also cut up part of an English cucumber that I'm gonna put on here, and um, <laughs> also chewy. Um, mm, gosh, I love veggies. Veggies rock my world. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take some, <laughs> some hemp seeds. And I'm just going to pour a scoop, or a scoop and a half and put those on there. I have a little bit of lemon that's just about like already done. I already started squeezing this. I just wanted to squeeze lemon over it and help give it a really fresh flavor. Also bring out um, the um, ability for the greens to be absorbed and, and get all the nutrients. That helps. Citrus helps. I have a few oranges from our tree, and I actually cut up two and already ate them before I decided to go on, but I'm gonna have one more. So I'll just show you, cut this guy up. And I'm just gonna set it along the sides here. And then, oh my gosh, I have these blueberries. These blueberries are called Sweetest Batch Organic Blueberries. This is something I never found uh, in our area before. We were actually um, closer to uh, Phoenix yesterday, which is a little jaunt for us, and stopped at a store and saw these. I actually thought that, you know, that was part of the company name or something. No, they are the sweetest. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I'm going to add some of those. And then I had a little bit of leftover veggies from yesterday, and I just steamed them. I'm just draining them. And that's broccoli and some uh, collard greens. And so I think I'm just going to dump that on here. Dump, dump, dump. Let's see. And you know what? I think I actually am going to add a little more lemon because 
I want it on the steamed veggies. And I have some lemon that's cut up already here, so I'm just gonna cut another little slice and squeeze that over top. That's good, save this one for later. And then I have a little bit of homemade dressing. This I made with some soy milk, a little bit of cashews, some dill, um, garlic, and a few other things. And so I'm gonna give myself a little creaminess, which I'm gonna just, just pour a little bit of this on here. You know, sometimes I don't use anything like this, but I have it. I'm kind of doing a leftovers for breakfast. And here we go. This is my breakfast. This is what I'm going to start my day with. So let me move this out of the way. And yes, I have extra cucumber here that I will probably eat in a little while or throw, throw in something later or on the side. I'm just not sure, but I have it here to chomp on. And here I just took some blueberries and kind of rinsed those off. And there we go, look at this. So um, veggies for breakfast for me, fruit, beautiful, easy, leftovers, delicious, scrumptious. Here we go. Mm. And then I like some of this guy. So I'll be back and I will share what else I eat today. Happy chomping. <laughs> I finished off that uh, bowl that I showed you earlier and I was still hungry, but I had things to do. So I'm back in the kitchen now. I'm gonna make some more stuff because now I'm really hungry. And so what I thought I would do is throw together um, a few things that I have. I'm trying to use up stuff that I bought that I haven't gotten to yet. And so the first thing I wanna do is pull out this chickpea pasta that I made and it's a no mac and cheese um, with peas. I will link a video to me making this so that you could see it if you missed it, but this is gonna, this is leftovers. So what I'm just gonna do is cut some and stick it in the Breville. Um, I could put it in the air fryer, but I'm going with the Breville. And so let's get that going. And oh gosh, I was gonna slice. It's kind of thick. I'm hungry. I'm going for just a little less than half. Oh yeah, look at that. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's loose on the sides. There we go. Yummy! Okay, <laughs> so I am going to find a little scoopy doopy spatula. And I'm just gonna put this, and look at this, look at this. These are also end scraps. I'm just gonna use them up. I'm using them up. So those are my parchment paper scraps that I kind of put together and I don't even need this little piece. I mean this little piece, I save it all. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. Whoops, I may not even need that piece. Wow, look at us saving stuff. So, you know, it's not perfect, but I try to use up what I can Try not to waste, things are so expensive and I just want to use it up. Okay, going in. Now I have this preheating at 375 for 30 minutes, but I'm basically just gonna leave it in there until the rest of the lunch is ready. And so we still have more in case Todd wants some, and if not, I have some more for maybe tomorrow or the next day. Let me put this away. Okay, so we'll put this aside. So the next thing that I want to do is use up some more things that I have. And I had some asparagus that I haven't used. So I um, washed it and then chopped some of the ends off. You don't have to chop the ends off if you want. You could take a um, potato peeler and just peel the ends that are kind of um, more, you know, fibrous, um, but I today I was feeling you know lazy and just kind of wanting to go. So I cut those off and then I chopped everything so that it's you know like this, what, about an inch and a half. But when I get towards the top, I tend to leave those longer. 
And the reason why is because I find if I cut these up a little bit shorter, sometimes they tend to fall apart. And I, I like them to stay together. So those are a little bit longer. So I've got the asparagus over here. And then I had, you know, uh, an onion that was starting to like not look so happy. So I cut it in half and I diced it up here, some purple onion. And then here I have one clove of garlic. Um, and then I have some artichoke hearts. This is the end of the bag. These are the artichoke hearts that I have. They're from Trader Joe's and they were in the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead, I, you know, put the rest of them from the bag here and they're starting to thaw a little bit. And so I'm just gonna give them um, a little chop, but you could use artichoke hearts from a can or a jar. Um, just check the salt content if that's um, of a concern to you. And that sounds good. That means that's going to be heating up. Um, and if it is a concern of yours and that's what you have, you know, you can rinse that off. Rinse it off uh, on a colander and just do the best you can. And it's all good. So I'm just going to finish giving these a rough chop. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, heat this guy up. This nice pan. And I'm going to do a dry saute. And, and if it sticks, then I might add a little water. Um, if you want to add more things to this, I mean, I have broccoli and I have other things that I could add to it. I just... Um, I was just feeling like I'm just going to go with what I have here. You could use carrots. You could use anything. So let me go ahead and scoop the onions and get those starting. I want to just try to cook them down a little bit. And let's start with the onions. It's always best to get your pan really hot. Ah! And it's also hard to do it the way that I'm doing it. And you know what? Actually... I just want to show you. It, it is better to get your pan really hot. And one way to test it is just to put a little bit of water and um, let me grab a little bit of water and show you. You splash it on there. You can use your fingers if they're clean. You can use a spoon. You just want it literally. Well, that's hot. <laughs> I think it's ready. So I'm going to turn the flame down. It was on high. I'm going to go ahead and turn it just slightly between medium and low. And now I'm going to try this again. I'm going to get these onions in here. That sounds yummy. I love the sound of onions cooking on the stovetop. So let me finish getting the rest of the onions. And if you don't have red onion, use whatever onion you have. You know, if you have mushrooms, oh, if I had mushrooms. Actually, I do have mushrooms in the freezer. Hmm. No, I'm going to stick with what I have. But you can just use your imagination. Use up things that you have. Don't be afraid to just put things in there that maybe you wouldn't have thought to put in there. Turn it down all the way. I'm going to cover it for a few minutes. And the next thing I'm going to add would be the garlic. I'm going to just put that garlic in, this beautiful fresh garlic, in just a minute. And, um, and then once we get these things all cooking up, we're going to add an orange, the zest and the juice inside. So that, that's pretty much what we're going to do. So here we go with the garlic. I like to cover the lid on the pots because if it does stick a little, sometimes the moisture gives it kind of like a steam type of thing. And, you know, when things are steaming and there's like moisture that comes out of the actual food, it helps also to prevent sticking when you're doing no oil cooking, which is great and amazing. And then the next thing I'm going to get ready would be the artichokes and the asparagus. So I'm going to take um, a minute or so to let that just kind of do its thing. I already went ahead and washed this orange. This is from our tree. I'm so excited. And so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bowl here. Got my little apple bowl. I love this little apple bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and start zesting it using the microplane. And 
If you're not familiar with the microplane, it's a great tool to use to zest. And what you want to do is you don't want to do this back and forth thing. You just kind of want to go along one way and see you can see that the zest is coming off. And just do the whole orange as much as you can. And the flavor is absolutely amazing. I like to do it with orange, with lemon, even lime, um, any citrus. And you can use as much as you want. Now, if I didn't have any oranges left, I actually have dehydrated the orange uh, skins and I could use that as a powder. It's in my cabinet. But because I have these beautiful oranges to use up from the garden um, or from our citrus tree, I opted to just go with the fresh. And it doesn't matter if you get every single drop, you know, but the reason that you don't want to keep going back and forth is because you don't want to get the pithy part because it is a little, um, you know, more like soury than just the actual skin. So we'll put that aside for now. Let me rinse my hands. Nice. Okay. So there's a little tiny bit of sticking, but that might be all right. In the end, when we add the juice, it, it will hopefully deglaze it. Okay, I'm going in with the frozen artichokes. Now, of course, they're starting to thaw, but they're still very cold, so the water from those might really help. The water from these, um, oh yeah, I think that's gonna be great. And I'm gonna actually go ahead get crazy and add <laughs> asparagus as well. Now, I really like asparagus raw, I like it in salads chopped up, and I also like it in, um, if you make any kind of veggie sushi, I like to put it in there sometimes, but I was never a big uh, asparagus fan. It took me a while, and so if you are new to asparagus and it's not really your thing, what you might want to do is just cut it, cut it down even more like this if you were going to use it in a sushi or whatever, but um, once you get you know, once you get used to tasting something that's new, you might be like me and just all of a sudden realize, man, that is delicious. And so I do enjoy that. And here we go. I'm just going to, it's still on really low. I'm going to turn it just up a little bit. And it might take us a few minutes because don't forget the artichoke that we're using was in the freezer. And so I'm just going to let that sit. So I think while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and I have this pear. Um, it's pretty ripe and ready. I'm gonna slice this up. I've already washed it, but I'm gonna give it an additional rinse just because I can. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna slice it. So we'll just do slices of pear. There are so many different variations um, of pears See, this one's got a little, a little ding in the middle, but that's okay. Most of the time I find that if that's there, that just means that the, the pear itself is really, really uh, sweet for a pear. And I, I like mine to ripen up. You know, some people like them a little more firm. Um, my husband is a huge fan of pears. He really, really enjoys pears. So... I'm just gonna cut this little piece out on any pieces that have that in there. Put that aside and... Now even though I plate my fruit at the same time as the rest of my food, I, I sometimes will eat it in the middle, but a lot of times it's kinda like my dessert. So it just depends. There's, you know, I go back and forth, but for this, I'm gonna go ahead and start to plate this while we're waiting. And that looks really good. Yummy, yummy. Oh, I'm super hungry. And you know, what I eat in a day can vary. I mean, I don't, sometimes it's some of the same stuff and sometimes it's very different. Like, I, ha I can't remember doing this, you know, anytime recently. So, you know, and also depending on what I have left over um, from other things that I bought and didn't get used. So I'm also going to go ahead and cut this orange in half, take out a couple little seeds. My citrus 
is an Arizona uh, citrus and they tend not to have a lot of seeds. This one has two, might have a couple little ones, but that was one of the reasons that we decided to get this one was because it didn't, it was supposed to not have so many seeds. So what I could do is I could just squeeze this over when it's time to juice it or I could peel it and chop it up. But um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze it in. So let's check this on. Check this out. See how this is coming along here. And we basically, I'm just doing more of like a steam, you know, like a light cooking. I haven't added any spices. I haven't added anything to it yet. Um, you could definitely add anything that you want in terms of seasonings or spices, depending on the flavor profile that you're looking for. I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer. And that's still in the oven. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is get out some greens. Hang on. Okay, so these are the greens that I showed you earlier today with that cucumber and a little bit of lemon. And um, I'm gonna maybe not eat all of it right now, but I'm definitely gonna add it. So let's check this again. I just like to keep checking it, you know, so that it doesn't overly cook or start to burn. Um, if it is sticking, like I said, we are gonna add the orange juice and hopefully that will deglaze it. But you could always put a little bit of water in here and that should do the trick as well. Now, if you were doing uh, broccoli, which I talked about instead of the asparagus, that's something that I like it when it's this bright green color and it's got a little bit of you know, crunch to it. It isn't totally, totally steamed and soft, 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 which is how I used to really enjoy it. Um, and so this, this shouldn't take a long time. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a couple pieces to just try it and see what we're, what's going on here. Let's see. I can go a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start squeezing the oranges. And like I said, if you don't wanna squeeze it or you have a juicer or any other way, you could certainly do it that way. I'm gonna grab myself you know what, I'm just gonna put it right in here with the zest. And I'm gonna use a fork. Sometimes I use other, oh, you know what I do have? I do have this guy. So let's start with the fork. And I'm just gonna squeeze. I do see another seed coming out here, so get that guy out. And I'm just gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all this beautiful orange juice. Whoops. I don't know if you saw that, but it went through the other side and you want to be careful. I must be feeling very hungry. <laughs> Getting aggressive here with my strength. There you go. Look at this. Oh yeah. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And so then what I might do is I could keep doing that, scrape out all the insides, but let's see if it'll fit in here. Cause this is small, this little press. And I did get some more juice out of it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. Let me move this aside. You know what, I actually, I just don't like to waste anything. So I might just kind of see if there's anything else besides the fibrous part of the inside of the orange that I could get to just come out. And it doesn't really seem like there's much left. So that's okay. We'll go move on to this other half. I wanna use the whole orange. So if you have a really giant orange, maybe you would want to use half. Um, there's no measurement or rule. We're just kind of doing this. Oh, did I get a seed? Look at that. Sneaky little bugger. Okay. And I just keep moving it around. And then just for fun, I think it's pretty much empty, but let's see if we can get any little Last bits, ah, a little bit, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. So just gonna kind of do this. Ooh, I'm starting to smell, smells good. I can smell the onion. Let me rinse my hands off and check this now because, oh yeah, wow, it is starting to brown up. So I do think that I am gonna add just a tad of water. 
just to deglaze it. See, look at that, it comes right up. Just, and you might need a little bit more water. But that's what I'm looking for. Uh, let me just, should have kept that with me. Look at that. Nice. There we go. Look at that. That looks amazing. And I think the artichokes are probably cooked up pretty well here. <laughs> Found another little seed for the seedless or less than seedy oranges. Okay, here I go. Ready? I'm just going to take the orange juice and all the zest and just pour it right over and give it a stir and just let it cook for like another minute or so. And this is done. And um, boy, that, that looks great, doesn't it? Nice, beautiful lunch. Ah, yay, I can't wait. <laughs> Let's check the pasta in there. The mac and no cheese made out of chickpeas. Oh yeah. So it has nine minutes left. So, you know, that's what I was saying. We wouldn't do the whole 30 minutes. We would just do it as long as we're cooking. It's already cooked. We're just basically heating it up. Look at that. Look at that. I love when it gets nice and crunchy. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and let's plate this. Yum o. Oh. So this is hot. Let me just grab my little. There we go. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do without burning my hands, hopefully, maybe I'll just use this guy. Oh, look at that. Ha ha ha. It's stuck with the paper. Ah, eh, we did get one little guy on there, but for the most part, I think that's pretty darn good. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel this off and it's hot, so be careful. Look at that. See, these little pieces that most people would throw out, I got some use out of them. And so that's, that's just what I like to do. Okay, so this looks divine, doesn't it? I'm super excited about it. And let's go ahead and plate this. Ugh, oh, wow, look at that. Now it is a little juicy. I can still see that there is some juice here. So, you know, cook it to your liking. If you don't want, you know, any of the juice, extra juice, then go ahead and cook it a little bit more. But for me, this is great. And I'm just gonna plate it right there. Yum, next to my pasta, which isn't really pasta. Well, it is, but it's, it's made out of chickpeas and it's kind of a special thing for me. And I may eat all of this, I may not. So I'm just gonna plate most of it. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna give it a twist of pepper. But you don't have to use it. You, you could skip it. Look at that. Ah. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then next to the pears, I'm gonna go ahead and let's have some cucumber. I mean, I cut all this beautiful cucumber this morning. Cucumber is refreshing. It's filled with all kinds of, you know, it's got a lot of water in it. And I'm gonna add some of the salad, but not a lot. I want mostly the cucumber today. And this, I might end up throwing the rest of it with dinner, but we'll see. So here we go. One more thing. Ooh, I've got a very cherry balsamic vinegar and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit on the pears. I could have used a chocolate. I think I have like an orange chocolate, but I'm gonna go with very cherry balsamic. And you could skip this. I mean, pears by themselves are sweet enough, but I'm just getting a little bit crazy here. Nice, ah, okay, and this little piece of lemon, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze on top of the salad and the cucumbers. And that's another thing you could use. You could even use balsamics on this as well, but you know, just a little, a little dabble do me. There we go, look at this, okay. Let me just. So here's my quick lunch. Let's try it together. And then I got to go gobble. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's start with the 
artichoke, asparagus, onion, garlic, orange zest, and juice with a twist of pepper. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. The orange is really like this pow, and I love it. And that's exactly how it tastes, <laughs> if you wanted to know. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and get a little knife here. Let's try the pasta reheated. You know, sometimes I get concerned, like I like it crunchy, but it's also we're reheating it. Is it gonna be dry? Well, even if it is, I, I think I'm okay with it. And this one is a little thick, so it's, oh yeah, it seems juicy in there. Mmm, okay, I like that. Yummy, yummy crunch. With the peas. And the cheese is made from potatoes and carrots, as you'll see on the video, which I talked about earlier. Our crispy cucumber. Nice and cold, crunchy, very refreshing. And I think I would save the pear for later, but for you, I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> Here we go. I know I'm gonna be satisfied when I'm done with this. That was really good. And the little bit of very cherry balsamic on it, I mean, it, it's sweet, but it's just a nice little touch. So I feel like I'm getting like a really good dessert type thing. And um, so anyways, stay tuned. Let's see what else I eat. <laughs> I got to go eat this now. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay. I'll be back. I finished that beautiful plate of food and then I went back and I finished what we had left in the pan that's no longer here because I ate it and cleaned it all up and once again I'm hungry so um, we're gonna make some more stuff and you know what I want to say to you is that today this day is mostly just being creative with leftovers and odds and ends that I have in the refrigerator it's not really a day of like planning, you know, to make a recipe. I'm just showing you what I can do with things that I have already and how I can create it uh, into meals for the day. So anyways, I, I had this container and it had some leftover veggies in it and it also had this half a sweet potato in it and I got really excited. So I cut the sweet potato up and I went ahead and lined this is a um, you know the drawer for the air fryer it's actually my daughter's air fryer that she has loaned me and so I'm just thinking that I will put it in here because this is already cooked the other way that I was thinking that I could cook this um, would be just putting it in a steamer basket and heating it up that way but I think I'll just Put this in here and I am going to be using the steamer basket so it would have made sense to just have you know one thing so I'm, I'm not really putting anything on it although I can maybe some cinnamon or something afterwards um, but I'm going to set that aside because I'm not ready to put it in yet I'm going to rinse rinse my hands and I have a little bit of leftover quinoa. This is cooked quinoa. And so I'm gonna steam this. I wanna get it a little bit heated up and um, I wanna make sure that it's got a little bit of moisture in it because I'm gonna use it to make one quinoa sushi roll. And so I'm gonna have kind of a mishmash of stuff, but I realize that I need more carbs because I've been uh, hungry today more than normal and I think that's because I haven't upped my carbs so I'm excited for the potato and I'm excited for um, the quinoa and the sushi although I did have those um, noodles made out of chickpeas anyways I've already went ahead 
and put some water in my steamer and I am going to, I love this Corningware little, little dish that fits right in there. It also fits perfectly in my Instant Pot and I'm just going to go ahead and put all of that in there. Now you could, you could, I could, we could have used the microwave, but I decided I don't really want to. And I'm just going to add a tad of water, just, just a little tiny bit. And I would like it to be a little bit more on the um, kind of mushier side so that I can use it in place of rice in my sushi. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on and just let that get warm. And then I thought maybe I'll have a little tempeh. Now, if you're not familiar with tempeh, this one is an organic tempeh and it's one that I found at my uh, local Sprouts. They sell them at lots of grocery stores and it's basically um, soybeans. And you can see, you can even see the, the bean itself. It's um, before they continue, if they continue on with this, this will eventually be tofu. But this is like prior to it looking like tofu and this is a protein. Um, and so anyways, I'm gonna cut this up and I want to cook this also. Let me grab my, my knife because I would like to put a little of this either in a salad or um, in my sushi if it comes out all right. So I'm just cutting this open and I'll show you if you're not familiar with this. When I first got into this, I, it took me a while, but I really do like it. It is, um, it is a soy protein, so if you're not eating soy, then you could skip this part if you were uh, looking to try to make something like this. You just gotta work, you know, do what works for you. So here it is, and sometimes it has another wrapper, but this one doesn't. And I'm not gonna eat this whole thing, so I'm just going to cut it in half. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut it in strips, like this. See what that looks like? And then I'm going to take the strips and I'm going to cut them this way. So that they're a little bit thinner. I want to try to get them a little crispy. Um, if you're marinating with them, if you're marinating them with something, then you uh, also might want to consider that because then the marinade will go in and it doesn't have as much of a thickness to try to get through. And then I'm just gonna cut it into some little squares, just like that. There we go, look at that. And I think I will make half the pack. And so um, what I think I'm gonna do is put these in the air fryer as well, but you could, if you don't have an air fryer, you could put all of this stuff in the oven and you could just bake it or you can put it on broiler if it's already hot and ready to go and then you can just kind of crispen it up. I'm gonna do some of it with uh, some leftover homemade paste that I made and it's made out of a little bit of, uh, it's made out of equal parts mustard, tahini and some um, hot sauce and I just mixed it up. That's it. And I had used it to brush on some uh, tofu, but I ran out and I have this little bit and I don't want to throw anything out. So I'm going to try it on these guys here. Oh yeah, look at that. So I just want to coat it. Now, what else could you do? You could, you could eat it plain, which is I'm gonna do with some of it. You could um, make a marinade of like, if you're into um, coconut aminos with a little maple syrup and, um, or you could just, I wonder if you could even do a dry rub. I've never really done it with a dry rub, but um, okay. So I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna pull out the other drawer because look, this one's full. And this particular air fryer has two drawers and I think I'm gonna line the other one. So let me grab it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting these right like that. There we go. 
And so let me keep going here. Well, it looks like we ran out of <laughs> parchment paper. So I might have to pull a little tiny extra piece out to finish lining that. So let me see if I could do that. Let's check on this. Well, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn it off and just let it sit there. And we are off to the races still. So I'm just gonna finish putting these on and I only have a few left. I didn't think I was gonna have enough of this sauce to do the whole thing. I thought that I was just gonna, whatever I, you know, once I ran out of this, I thought I would just do the rest plain. But hey, look at this. Looks like I'm gonna come pretty close. Maybe not every single one, but just about. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when I go live or post new videos. I'd love to have you here. Um, and uh, give this a thumbs up and help me support my channel. I'd love to know that this is of interest to you. Please leave a comment. Um, let me know if there's anything that resonates with you or or anything that you'd like to share. I'd love to hear from you. Let's chat. And so let me just finish. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna be, there's only one left after this. So I might be able to get them all covered and coated. Wow, look at that, I surprised myself. Sure did. Look at that perfect, perfect amount. I love when that happens. <laughs> I don't. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but here it did. Okay, so there we go. Got these two guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the air fryer. I'll be right back. Now I struggle with these rolls. I, I just really wanna master the sushi roll and I've recently had one come out really well and sometimes they just don't come out. And if that happens, well, I just get a spoon or a fork or whatever, but um, I'm going to actually add some strawberries in my sushi and a little avocado and then whatever we have that's left over in here, which is a little bit of cucumber. We've got some red bell pepper um, and I've got some carrot little strips and some uh, scallion. So let me go ahead and get the strawberries ready to go prep them. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live or post new videos. I would love to have you give me a thumbs up and spread the word about this content and let me know that you're enjoying it. Also, if there's something you want to discuss or a comment or share with me, go ahead and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So we're going to just continue on and I'm going to go ahead and slice up some strawberries. And I'm not, you know, slicing up a lot of strawberries, but just a few. Another thing, uh, fruit that I really like to put in sushi is mango. But because I have these beautiful fresh strawberries, I thought I would do that. And I don't have any fresh mango right now. And I usually uh, don't have to have fresh mango. Sometimes I'll use frozen and it works out great. And then I have this avocado. Um, if you haven't seen how I handle my avocado, um, check out the link on me and my avocado and I can show you how I keep avocado and um, all my little tips and tricks about avocado so that I don't waste it. So there, I'm just gonna peel off a little edge that's a little thicker than I normally would do, but that's okay. Okay, so I think we're pretty much ready. I am gonna go ahead and take out this sushi nori. These are nori sheets that you can get at the grocery store. Um, if you can't find them, you can certainly get them on Amazon. I'll link uh, in the description in case you're having trouble. These happen to be an untoasted, so these are considered raw, but I do also use the toasted ones. It's just what I was able to find uh, when I was looking for some. So I'm gonna take one sheet out. There we go. And nori is really good because it has iodine. It's a, a seaweed. 
and that's important for me to have some iodine every day. If I don't have, you know, nori or I'm not using nori that day, because um, I don't use it every day, then I do like to use this dulse, but I'm not going to use the dulse right now because we're using that. <laughs> so anyways, okay, so let me grab this little sushi mat has been a lifesaver and sometimes I like to wrap it in like a saran wrap just to help keep it a little cleaner but lately I haven't been. I've just been using it how it comes and then washing it letting it dry. This is warm not too hot. I'm going to go ahead and scoop this out and just try to place it on the sushi nori sheet and see how much of this I can use. That would be just the right amount. Now, it's more common to see people use rice, and I certainly could have used rice. Ah, it's ready. But I wanted to try something else, and so a different grain could be the quinoa, it could be millet. It's just as long as the grain is cooked. Don't be afraid to try something new. And so I have this leftover as you know, and so that's what we're using today. And, oh, look at this, perfect, perfect amount. Wow, I am super happy about that. Okay, so, and it is warm, right? So it can affect the paper, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna do what we always do and wing it and see what happens. And what's the worst thing that can happen? It falls apart and it becomes a sushi bowl. <laughs> but I really would like to do a roll, so hopefully it will work out. Okay, so I'm just kind of spreading it out, trying to make it as even as possible. And so this is where, you know, I, for not being the expert expert, this is where I would take this and roll it on there. But I actually think it looks pretty good. But, you know, just, just to do it, let's do it. There we go. All right, so let me move this out of the way. This is great. Aha, look at that, came out pretty good. I haven't tasted it yet, we're gonna do it together, but I'm gonna just dump it out over here so that it can cool a little bit. Now, another shape that I could have done would have been maybe a little bit longer so that it would you know, be more the size of this avocado. But this is what I did, and that's okay. So let's start building our sushi. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some carrot sticks down, these little carrots that I have sliced up. And um, another trick I learned is you don't wanna overfill. I mean, we talked about the quinoa, but you don't wanna overfill the inside either because what can happen is, falls apart, there are so many things uh, so many techniques and rules to this, but once you get it down, I think then you're golden. For me, I'm still learning. So I'm gonna put some cucumber slices. And you know, I had a couple of these cucumbers from earlier in the salad that I didn't eat. And so I think what I'll do is just take a second here. I meant to do this earlier. and just kind of slice them so that they fit in here and they're not super bulky. I'm just slicing them down the middle. Just adding a little more. But if I didn't have it pre-cut, I prefer to make these kind of julienne longer little pieces there. So anyhow, okay, strawberry time. Yes, let's, let's use some strawberries. So I'm gonna put some over here. I know we had nice slices, but I think now that I'm seeing how this works, I think I'm just going to Slice them down the middle so that they look like this and go ahead and just keep building. Okay, and now I'm gonna take some of our green scallion. I have a little bit left here. Perfect amount for one roll. Now normally I would need much more than one roll, like two or three, um, but you know, just using up what I have. Let me just continue to, there we go. This looks great so far. Okay, and now I'm going to add a couple slices of the avocado. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All the colors. I love it. Okay, now let's put in some of these. Well, let's taste one. Let's make sure it tastes good. 
Overly crunchy, under crunchy, spicy, not spicy. No, it's good. It's different than the tofu, but I like it. So, mm, yummy. So I'm just gonna make a row of these guys. There we go, that's it. And so let me, let me see if I can do this. Okay, oh, interesting. I have the mat turned, ah, the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm afraid that if I move it, it's gonna fall apart. Oh my goodness. So always make sure the mat is correct. Oh, the mat is not correct. So what do we do? I don't know, we just roll. We just roll with it, get it? So I'm not really gonna be able to use the mat, but I'm just gonna kind of roll it. And this is, oh, maybe now I can use the mat. Okay, phew, okay. Uh, all right, it's all good. So you wanna just roll the mat. <laughs> and then you wanna put a little bit of water at the edge so that it sticks together. And where is my little spoon that I had? Oh dear. See, I guess I thought I was prepared. And here we go. Not really prepared, but that's okay. Let me try. You just keep trying, right? So the idea is to really squeeze it in and then the wet part is supposed to just, ugh, this is not working out, darn it. It's supposed to, well, it's not the worst thing I ever did, but it's not the prettiest either, but that's what we did today. And some of it's falling out and that's okay. I'm gonna just squeeze it a little bit tighter and see, see what happens here when I take it off. Some of it fell out, it's all good. Remember we had a plan B? What was it gonna be? Do you remember? It was gonna be a bowl and not a roll. All right, well, bummer. I'll try this again with you in the future. And so I'm not gonna use this knife. I have a different knife that I like to use for sushi. Let me find it, it's over here. You, one thing you really need is you really need a sharp knife. That is part of it. And I just kind of hold this side, this first piece, might not be very good, might just fall all apart, and it is, and that's okay, darn it. Nope, the whole thing is falling apart. Well, I'm gonna roll with it. Oh, I really wanted you to see a good one, but it didn't happen this time. So let me just set this up and see if, we, if there's any way to save it. Well, no, not really. <laughs> oh well. Uh, and there you go. I kind of want to make another one, but I, I'm out of the quinoa. What happens if we did it anyways? Just to try, shall we? We do have a few other things here. Let's see if I could get it right. Maybe even without the, without it. And I'm gonna take one of these. I'm gonna take the skin off. Wow, it's hot. And I'm just gonna kind of cut it up a little bit. And I'm gonna just get creative. In the kitchen, right? Why not? And I'm just gonna do what I can here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the carrots and I'm going to, hmm, what else could I put in here? We're gonna put the strawberries in. It's gonna be a very interesting flavor, but that's okay. That's okay. Everything is a-okay in the kitchen, okay? And I'm gonna put some of these guys in here, cause why not? 
And I think I will cut up a little cucumber really quickly. Well, now you get to see me cut the cucumber. So what I would do is I would just cut it in little strips like this, all the way down. Even turn it over. Watch your fingers. And then from here, I would just maybe take a few of them and just make the strips. And here we go, ready? And then we've got little matchsticks or julienne cucumber. And there we go. So I'm gonna put that in here. There, look at that, voila, another roll. And a little cucumber. I mean, uh, we put the cucumber in there. Now we're gonna put a little bit of avocado and then we're gonna be ready to roll, okay? I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit. We could even put sesame seeds on this if we had extra scallion cut up, which I do have, but I'm not gonna cut it up. We could put it on top and make it really pretty. It's just a matter of, can I do this? <laughs> so I'm gonna take the mat and I'm gonna tuck it all in best I can and I'm gonna just roll, 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 roll. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's see how that looks. Seems to be doing better so far. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm just gonna wet the very edge so that it will stick nicely. The strawberry fell out, that's okay. Keep roll, roll, rolling. There you go. Maybe this one will work out better. So far, so good, huh? Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna show you again. I put like kind of like a little bridge and I hold the, in between these two fingers, I hold this and then I make sure, make sure if you do this technique, that is one I made up, <laughs> that you don't cut yourself. And then I just try to saw it back and forth. And this one might, might fall apart too because the ends are really hard for me, but I'm gonna keep going. Also, another trick I heard is to wet. I know it's like don't get everything wet, but at the same time to wet, wet the knife a little might help slide it through. So let's go again. There we go, look at this. Oh, I got one piece. I got two pieces. Yay, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> no, maybe not yet. Let's keep going. Now I've also heard that if you cut it in the middle and you push it together and then you cut out this way and you cut out this way, that can work, never worked for me. But um, I'm gonna just leave it the way it is. Okay, so here's our messy first try. <laughs> and here, look at this, look at this. Okay, let's see. This first piece is not, oops, is this all the way cut? Let's see, come on. Look, yay. Maybe, maybe it worked. Yes, and see the difference? These are so big. I know I had the, um, I had the quinoa, but uh, I don't know. I just kind of messed that one up. But even if I had the quinoa in this one, we use the sweet potato, don't forget. Um, just small is better. Oh, yay, okay, see? If at first you don't succeed, remember what did we say? Try, try again, and we did it. And so now I'm gonna take the rest of the strawberries, even though this isn't super pretty, oh my goodness, and I'm just gonna add some strawberries here on the edge that I will eat. We've got some extra sweet potato that I'm gonna put in the middle. And if you wanted, you can add a couple more of these. You don't need to. All right, well, one last thing, well, maybe not one last thing. I do like fresh lemon. So as I eat it, I like to squeeze the lemon on. So I would serve myself with a little lemon. What do you think? Did I do okay? I think it's gonna taste delicious no matter how it comes out. But I am happy that some of it turned out. And so let me get some chopsticks. Let's try this. All right, here we go. This is hopefully gonna fall apart in my mouth and not here. Here we go, ready? Ooh. Mmm. 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 
Even the messy side is a winner. Tastes great. I love the lemon. All the flavors go well. The strawberry gives it a really nice sweetness to it. And I love the crunch that we have from the carrots. <laughs> Sorry, it's so good. Hold on. I love the crunch that we have from the carrots and the scallion and the tempeh. Now let's try this side. Let me put a little lemon again on this side. Very, very nice. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I'm trying to show you my circus moves. All right, here we go. Ready? Hmm. That is really great with the sweet potato. Wow. Have you ever had sushi with sweet potato? Do you know we wouldn't have made it that way had this not got messy? And that is what's so cool about just keep pushing through. Be creative, pivot, try something new. And now I found a new way to make it that is really, really delightful. So thank you so much. I am gonna finish eating all of this and if I decide that I'm still hungry, well, I'll be back. And if not, then you've seen how I take things that I don't really know what to do with and create meals for the day. And um, I just keep pushing through with a whole food plant-based lifestyle and food. It's delicious. And here I go. So thank you so much for joining me. Take care. I gotta tell you, the sweet potato sushi ended up being my favorite. It was so good. I ate the entire thing. Wow. And so um, I'm satisfied, but I also thought, how about one more thing in the kitchen? So I'm gonna try to make a dessert and I haven't ever made this before, this particular one. I've made nice cream all the time, but this one with, it has apple in it and I haven't done it with the apple. I've done it with cherries and strawberries and mango and all kinds of other things, but not with the apple. Anyhow, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some frozen banana in my food processor. Now the apple is supposed to be frozen, but it's very cold. So hopefully it will still come out. And uh, that's that. And then I'm gonna put some dates in here. These are three um, pitted medjool dates. Plop those guys in there. And then we're gonna put a little vanilla bean powder in. I'm gonna do, let's see, maybe I'll do half a teaspoon. And then we'll start it up with just a little bit of water and that's it. We'll see if it comes out creamy and nice, nice creamy, nice creamy like, and that will be dessert. And if it isn't as thick and nice, then it will be more like milkshakey. <laughs> so, okay, let's try this. So let's put a little bit of water in. Maybe just start with like, I don't know, a little bit less than a tablespoon. And I might add a, a couple more tablespoons. But um, something refreshing and just fruity I think would just be really nice to finish off the evening with. So let me plug this in. It does look a little bit chunky still, but I'm gonna call it. So let, let me unplug it. And look, looks pretty good. So let me see here. And that was um, one apple's worth. And that, that particular apple that I used um, is called a sugar bee. 
I mean, just like this. You could put apple slices on it or whatever, but I'm just going to go for it. Ready? Mmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I do think that the apple needs to be frozen all the way, but um, it's wow, it's sweet and it's delicious and it's refreshing and fruity. <laughs> it is not blended as much as I'd like it to be. I kind of want to try it in the Vitamix or um, the Nutribullet just to see if I can get it creamier. Yep, I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> Hold on. This um, idea of putting it in here, I didn't think of it first, but let's just give it a little bit of more of a blend and just see if it gives it any more of a creamier texture. I'm so curious about that. And so we'll just finish pouring the rest of this yumminess out. And we'll see which one works best. Plugging it in. And there we go. excited, right? It's excitement in the works. Okay. So let me unplug it. I always like to unplug it, which I should have done first, but I was too busy dancing, not paying attention. Oh yeah. So this is more blended, although it's still not, um, you know, frozen, frozen, but that's okay. I'm glad I did that. And I think going forward, I would probably do that again. And I would try to use it with the frozen apple. So here we go. Let's pour this in here. And you could see even the color has changed. Well, here, because this is what was in the bowl. And there you go. So it is really liquidy, more like a shake. And that's all right with me. Let me taste it. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Very banana-y, though. Oh, I don't need to. I can just use this. So I'll have to see if um, Todd wants to come and have some. Let's see. Todd, you want to come and try this? Come and try this? Okay. Yes, I do. Yay. Hello. And of course, I would make as much and share as much of whatever we have here together. Um, even though I've been showing what I've been eating, I can share this with you. Yes, absolutely. Or make more if you want to try it. Sure. I'm going to grab a spoon. But I think it's pretty good. So let's hear what you think. Okay. Let's do it again. Oh. Right? It's really good. It is, right? And if really it were sweet. frozen, I know. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, share. Okay, let's share. Oh, I mean, like, share your oh, thoughts. But yes, let's share, share the dessert. dessert. Yes, of course. Mmm. Mmm. Super sweet. Very creamy. Um, It'd be interesting if it were more frozen. But, totally frozen. It would be great. Um, it's really, really good just as it is. Um, well, I, I, don't even, I mean, it's just awesome. Well, we could put two straws in here. Why two? One for each of us to... Oh, you mean still share. Oh, you don't want to share? You want it? <laughs> no, we can put two straws in. <laughs> Anyways... Thank you so much. This is going to be it. We're going to close the kitchen and uh, just enjoy this and mm -hmm. clean up. Thank you so much for tuning in. I, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I do uh, when I have leftovers and how I make it work and what I eat in a day. Take care. Don't forget to eat your greens. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Would you put anything else on this? Like... Like, I was thinking if somebody Just wanted... Just my spoon. <laughs> that was a good answer.